Hey guys, welcome back to Southern Adventures. Um, today I wanted to do a quick review on the Tinsel Stingray Tree Tent. Now I've had this tent for about eight months. I actually did a, a video when I first got this tent on how to set it up. Um, and it really took me about 45 minutes um, for the first time. Now, I have found that it only takes about 10 or 15 minutes to set this tent up when you know what you're doing. Um, I'll go ahead and get it set up behind us and then go over a few pros and cons about this tent. Now, this is the actual tree tent. Um, it's the Stingray Predator version. Um, it's awful heavy. Um, it weighs about 22 pounds. Uh, it does hold up to 880 pounds of weight once it's set up properly in a tree. This is a quick comparison. I set the uh, tree tent next to what I call a five-day pack. Um, my five-day pack weighs about 22, 23 pounds. Um, food for five days, a sleeping bag in here, um, a two-person tent in here as well, and just pretty much all the essentials you need for camping. Um, the tree tent itself weighs about the same amount, 22 pounds, and it's just the tent. All right, guys, you can see we've got everything set up now. Now, as you can tell, I didn't put the rain fly on yet because there's a few things I want to go over before I do that. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the ratcheting system on this tent. Now, it's set up with three different ratcheting points, so you can tighten it a little at a time on each point. As you can tell, this ratchet is not fully down, and I wanted to show you this because if you try to just push straight down on it, it will not lock. You want to pull this little lever back, push straight down, and then it locks into place. Now secondly, you can see that this tent has a very fine mesh top. And basically that's just to keep the bugs out and the wind down. You can see that this tent has a very durable bottom layer. It can support up to 880 pounds. That's three adults and all their gear. Now the pole system starts on the outside here and goes up through a seam. Now in the back of the tent, you have an access point, a zipper, that comes back and you can reach in there and put those poles into their slots. This tent also has two access doors. One you can see right here in the front. But as you can see, it's a little hard to get up in there from here. Now the secondary access point is at the bottom of the tent. It just simply unzips on both sides and you can jump right up in the tent from there. You also have a couple of points here and here that you can attach a ladder to if you wanted to put this tent a little bit higher in a tree. I also just want to jump up in the tent real quick and let you guys have a look around at what the Stingray has to offer from the inside. And you see there's the front door. You got your bottom hatch. Your poles run all the way across these seams. And they hook in right down here at the bottom. Now you also have a couple of elastic straps in the back. On the front half and on the other front half. And those are just there to uh, secure your gear. And one thing I would like to ask Tinsel is what in the heck are these for? Because I can't figure it out. It looks like it attaches to a pole. Not sure. Let us know, Tinsel. All right, so now you've had a look around the tent. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rain fly up on it now, which I think is really neat. Take a look. All right, guys, well, I finally got the tarp on this thing. It was a little cumbersome, um, but I finally got it on. Um, it's actually tied down to the three ratcheting straps that I showed you earlier. And it also has three points that it ties off to the ground. Now, bear in mind, if you do decide to put one of these tents higher in a tree, you're not going to be able to tie it to the ground like you see here, and it will cause this tarp to be a little loose on you. As you see here, this is how the tarp is tied on. It basically wraps itself around the ratcheting strap and then you connect it right back in here. So you also have these three tie down points on the outside of the tarp as well. It goes all the way down to the ground on a bungee that they provided and a pretty cool little stake that just screws into the ground rather than having to beat it in with a hammer. Just so you know, at each side of this tarp you have three different tie down points. And you can see the other one over there. All right, guys, so let's talk about a few pros and cons real quick about this tent. I've had it for eight months, and I've, had, I've got some good use out of it, um, but I have noticed some issues. 
So one thing is this tent does get you up off the ground. So if it's wet outside, you don't have to worry about it. You can pitch this thing up and you're sleeping in a hammock basically. Um, secondly, it does have the added extra security of being in the air. So if you're out in the woods and somebody's walking around out there or some things walking around out there, well, you're 5, 10, 15 feet off the ground and, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Now, thirdly, it does have a nice tarp area underneath it. So if it starts raining, snowing, I don't know your climate, but you can just throw anything you want to underneath this tent. It'll be secure and outside of that element. And lastly, you don't have to keep all your gear inside this tent. Like you saw, I had my pack hanging off the bottom of it, and you can do that literally for everybody's gear. Now, a couple of cons about this tent is that, yes, it's off the ground, but that is a problem in itself, because when you're on the ground, you have a lot of insulation below you. When you're up off the ground like this, all that insulation is gone. So if it's cold and it's windy outside, every bit of that wind is gonna rush underneath this tent, and you're gonna feel it, believe me. So I would definitely recommend a sleeping pad or some sort of insulation to go on the bottom of the area that you're sleeping in inside this tent. You know, secondly, this is a, this is not a backpacking tent by any means. Uh, this thing weighs 22 pounds. So this tent's basically good for, you know, camping in your backyard, uh, maybe going to a campsite where you can just drive up to and pitch this tent. Um, you're definitely not going to be hiking with this tent, um, especially not six or seven miles out in the woods. You know, thirdly, if you move in this tent, everybody moves in this tent. You know, it's basically three hammocks that are all attached together. So if you've got a couple of light sleepers and you're a toss and turner, then you're probably going to be wake up in the morning with a couple of unhappy campers. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up for the Stencil Stingray Tree Tent Review. Now, if you like this review, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you like my videos or you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. I have a few product reviews coming up and a couple more trips that I have planned out in the Cherokee National Forest. But listen, until next time, go out there and create your own adventure.